everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with my favorites for the month of November, which blows me away because that means this year is almost over. We have less than a month left, people. Whew, it's crazy. I'm hoping to get a lot of videos out for you this month, so please look forward to that because Christmas is one of my favorite holidays. So I'm really, really, really hoping that I'll be able to get a lot of videos out for the month of December. Most of them will be Christmas related, obviously. But anyways, enough of that and me getting excited that it's December. Let's get started with my favorites. month I actually mentioned in my big Sephora haul and oh my gosh have I been loving this since I got this this is the Tarte Amazonian clay blush palette I think that's what it's called it's their seasonal palette and I'm not a huge fan on the packaging I think it looks kind of I don't know I just don't like it I don't like how it's a like cushion I don't like it and I don't know what the point of these two clips is but the blushes in this palette are gorgeous. The one I'm actually wearing today is this one and it's the color Irreplaceable. They are just beautiful. I did swatching swatches of these on my actual Sephora haul but I will show you guys a close-up of this because they are just the most beautiful color and yeah I've just been loving absolutely every one of them. The next favorite I have for this month has been this and this is the Sonia Kashuk Chic Luminosity glow powder. I might have mentioned this before or I might have used it in a tutorial. I don't know if it's just supposed to be a highlight, but it's just so pretty. It's just like a very fine, fine powder and it kind of has a little bit of a glow. I don't know if you can see that, but it doesn't come off as white. So it does give just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a glow. Um, what I like to use this for is actually under my eyes to set any of the concealer I use under my eyes. I think it just really helps highlight under my eyes. And it's not like a shimmer like you're like, what are you doing? You don't really see much of it on your skin. And it's not like stark white or anything. I think it just gives a really nice highlighted part. So I do do it under my eyes and anywhere that I feel like the sun would hit and maybe make it shine but it doesn't look like you're crazy sparkly with highlighter I hope that makes sense the next two products I've been loving kind of go hand in hand sorry Caden is dumping his Lego back there first off I've really been getting into false eyelashes I don't know I've just I'm in love with them and I, tr I almost wear them every time I film now I'm actually wearing some right now and that's the ones I want to mention I don't have any because I use this whole pack, but this is the Ardell Wispies. I bought them in a pack of four on Amazon, I believe, and I have used all of them, but they do last a really, really long time. I'll just zoom you guys in. As you can see, I have them on right now, and they just make my eyelashes look so full. I love them, and I just love them, and I love that they're natural, so I don't feel like it looks crazy like I'm wearing false eyelashes. Like, damn, are those her eyelashes? Because that's crazy. The other thing that I've been loving with to use with these is actually this glue, and this glue has made all the difference for me with false eyelashes. I will never, ever, ever go back to the glues I was using before. This is the Revlon Precision Lash Adhesive. What makes this different is it is a brush-on eyelash glue. That is what makes the biggest difference for me is because I'm able to apply more precise. It's not going to get gloopy and like thick in any areas. It's going to be a really thin glue line and makes applying your eyelashes so much easier. Believe me, it doesn't have to be this lash glue, but just get a brush on one. It's going to make the biggest difference, especially if you're a beginner in uh, false eyelashes like I was, or I, I am, I am. Another favorite of mine has been my Scandinavia setting spray. I just love this setting spray. I never knew what the big hype was about having a setting spray until I used it. Man, this makes my makeup just stay like 100% perfect for so long. I absolutely love this and I do recommend it. Get a setting spray. If you haven't tried one already, get one. I love this one. I don't know if there's drugstore ones that are comparable, but... If you're willing to spend the money, get this one. It will make a huge difference on the longevity of your makeup and you're just gonna be looking like the bomb.com all day long. The last makeup item that I have is a drugstore item and this is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. It's actually a pressed pigment. 
I love the color of this. I love that I can throw this all over my lid and it just look gorgeous. Then add just a little bit of a light brown in the crease and you're gonna look, be looking so pretty with this eyeshadow. It's probably my favorite drugstore eyeshadow out there. Believe me, it's that good. Another thing that I've been loving for the month of November has been this Bath and Body Works candle. This is in the scent Vanilla Be Noel and Oh my goodness, this smells so good. I think this candle is the perfect transition from transitioning from the fall pumpkin scents into the Christmas scents because it's not like bam in your face Christmas, and but it's still got that baking smell that I associate with fall, with the pumpkin scents. So I really, really love this. It smells so good. And yeah, I've been burning it quite a bit. I've already got half of it gone, so I would say that's, that's a decent amount. The last favorite for the month I have is actually a food item, and this is the Nutrigreen Fruit Crunch. I just saw these at my grocery store and decided I would try them. I, I'm okay with Nutrigreen. I'm not a huge fan of them, but I love these because they're like a little thin granola bar, and they've kind of got like a yogurty white coating on the bottom, and they just taste so good. This is the strawberry kind. It's really good, and they come with two bars in a package, which is perfect because I'll only eat one bar at a time, and it's only 80 calories for a bar. So if I want have a little bit of a sweet tooth and I want to grab something, not feel so bad about eating it, I'll just snack on one of these little bars and then put the other one away and save it for next time. So anyways, that is all of my favorites for the month of November. I, as I said before, I can't believe November is already gone and I know so many people say that. That is all for this month's favorites. Please subscribe if you haven't already because I put out a new video every single week. I love you guys to the moon and back and I will see you in my next video. Bye!